Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to use native motion control on the SAMU emulator uh, and use actually your PS4 controller and your Nintendo Switch Pro controller to use natively motion control and play games that supports motion control of course. To begin this tutorial guys, we're going to need two things. You're going to need uh, of course PS4 controller and the cable that comes, the USB cable that comes with it and the same for the into the switch pro controller and the cable so uh, with this out of the way guys uh, we're gonna hop straight to my desktop and let me show you what you need on software so, so uh, as, as far as my desktop right now guys software programs you're gonna need is um, ds4 windows this is the program and we're gonna need a 7-zip or winrar to un, un, unexpress it so I have already the program. I'm gonna leave the links in the description below where you can go easy to and get the programs. So I got already the program downloaded. Right click it, 7-zip, extract here. It's gonna be here down. Pull it up, take this actually down here because it's closed. So double click it and DS4 open it. So when you when you the first time open the program, guys, it's gonna ask you uh, save where. Pick where you want to provide settings and be saved in the location files to be deleted. So what I always go for, guys, I go for a program folder so I can easily go to the uh, my files and hit find them in, inside the folder instead of going for app data because sometimes it's hide it. So I recommend to go for program folder. It's gonna pop up. Yes and we're going to be presented with uh, welcome to the ds4 windows step one guys install vgm burst driver just go ahead accept and install we're done the second steps guys uh, i don't think it's necessary but I, if you run windows 7 then well you have to do that if not then just skip all those and finish close the window here Keep the keep the DS4 windows open. Now we're gonna hop back to my uh, let's hop back. So we know what you need to do guys is take your PS4 controller and just connect it to your PC like that. If you do it for the first time, Windows gonna tell you that it's been uh, installed drivers and whatnot. If you did already, it's not gonna show up and you're good to go. So what you need to do now guys is just literally click start here and as you might see guys my PS4 controller actually light it up and uh, of course you can change the colors and whatnot but it's not so important so the only the thing the thing upon thing is guys is what I told you just you see if I stop it it disappears and if I start it appears again so as you might see the S4 controller if you all had already all that uh, you go, did go through go to settings guys and enable server only that don't use smoothing minimize the program and you're good to go for the PS4 controller this this indicate that it's con uh, connected so what you need to do guys is really easy we go into our SIMU open it close the folder here and we go into uh, input settings and I already mapped my two profiles for the PS4 and the GameCube uh, GameCube sorry for Nintendo Switch Pro controller so we go into PS4 load it there we go so just copy the same settings from for your PS4 controller go for your gamepad emulation controller controller API the input and controller wireless controller just you choose that and then you map your controller I can actually show you as well that it actually works let me as well do that hold up give me a second so you get, anyways you go back to the CMU open it as I said guys go to options input settings and as I said emulation controller with your gamepad controller API direct input and controller wireless controller for your PS4 controller as I said guys and let's hold up in case it's wrong just in case all right that's what's wrong yeah and you just map it uh, as you wish 
and uh, you're good to go then you close it you go to option again and you go gamepad motion source and you go for dsu1 usb ds4 blah 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 and by slot if you did all right all that start the game that you want to play i'm gonna give it some time all right let me switch the scene now there we go now you can see as well um the game here see boom boom i'm gonna keep my hands up there like so you can see it and if you did everything that i that i showed you in the tutorial guys you cannot do anything wrong all right we're moving not too shabby not too shabby all right so now the motion control the moment of truth you see guys as i move the controller it moves i don't i don't touch the buttons here and yeah it works works like a charm boom and then if i want to run okay then of course if you want to run guys you use the normal here and as always jump everything works just fine perfectly and once again demonstrate you that it works all right this was it for the ps4 controller guys really easy um let's move that out of the way let's close actually the, pro the game and the program and uh, yeah let's disconnect the ps4 controller now hold up i need just to stop it it doesn't matter you can just take it out just like that and now we're going for the now we're going for the nintendo switch controller guys the same progress but there are some different settings But I did so many many tests guys and whatnot. So as always guys, you take your USB, put it in, just like that. And by the way guys, um, what I want to say, when you first time, you, when you the first time connect your P Nintendo Switch Pro Controller uh, to your PC, give it some time. It's going to take a little bit longer time than other co controllers to uh, get the driver installed. But as soon as you see Windows tells you your con Windows Pro Controller is ready, then you can go to the program. Let me um, switch the scene. Um, boom, like that. Because I already did that, it's not gonna tell me uh, it's installing. So anyways, as I told you, give it some time. It's gonna sh show you up here. Uh, your control is ready. Uh, then let's open the program again. DS4 Windows. All right. All right, I, you see? And your controller is going to uh, light up with this blue thing. As you see guys, it did already automatically. And as you can see here, on the screen, Switch Pro Controller. We good. Double check that. Keep that only on, nothing else. And it's out the same thing. Minimize. And uh, we're going to same you. Once again. Open it. Close the window. So what we need to do now for the Nintendo uh, Switch Pro Controller guys, we're going again to input settings and I already mapped it as well, let's enter Pro Controller and reload. So as we reload here guys, you see something happens on the screen as well, um, it shows me something uh, different, but here it is, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, there we go. So it's for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller guys, it's a whole lot of settings, emulation controller with your gamepad, controller API SDL guys, you use SDL on the controller, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller here, and you can map it, yeah, you see it works, um, so I don't have to do a double, everything should work uh, just fine, just like that, so it's, it's the same, only those three things matters guys, and then you can map the controller, close it. Uh, of course, I forgot. And uh, 
Um, when you go to the game game gamepad motion source, go for default. I don't know why, but for some reasons, guys, default uh, does work for. Uh, oops. <laughs> default works uh, for the Nintendo Switch Pro controller because it's native, right? So. For the PS4, you go for the DS1, you know what I, what I showed you, and for this one, if you want to use motion control on the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, you go literally for default. So I'm going to switch the scene again, to only prove you it's going to work. And show off the game. There we go. So, once again, works just like a charm, guys. Nothing too crazy, you see. I'm. All right, and now we're going for the motion control. Oh my God, hold up. I need to run a little bit more. Please. Oh wait, hold up, let me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm doing a tutorial here, man. Ah, as you might see, guys, same thing. So that was it. It works just like a charm. I love it, man. I can literally now play Nintendo games with Nintendo controller, motion controls and everything. So yes, guys, um, what can I say? What can I say more than that? I think, as I showed you, and I just told you guys, so every controller has every different settings, but it's almost the same progress. Um, am I gonna... Oh, come on, hold up, guys, let me run away. Get the... Oh, man, I, I, I hate, it, hate to do it, but hold up. Come on, how you pick up? The... Oh, okay, let me get rid of this thing. Die, alright, okay. Um, yeah, this was the tour, guys. Hope it's helped you out. I hope you gonna enjoy playing your games on your, on your Xbox and on your um, Nintendo Switch Pro Control, guys, and on your PS4. I'm literally gonna cut a lot, a lot in this video. But with, uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy, enjoy this. Uh, um, bleh. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and if yes a like would be would mean the world to me and subscribing wouldn't harm me either my goal this year is to get to 1000 subscribers to the end of this year if you could make this possible i would appreciate that with that all said guys i'm gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and whatever else keep it cool and stay awesome my name is emo from emo gaming and i'm bringing out of here peace